As expected, Toronto Raptors guard Fred Van Fleet will be staying put. Well, technically, he'll be playing in Tampa Bay. We'll get to that in a second. But Fred Van Fleet re-ups with the Toronto Raptors. Uh, remember, they were the NBA champions just a little over a year ago. He's going to sign a four-year, $85 million deal. Fred was a big part of that championship run. And even since then, FBR has taken his game to a, another level. No Kawhi Leonard last season. FBR was one of the guys that stepped up to take on a burden of that scoring load. You know, a lot of nights, it's not Kyle Lowry leading that Raptors team. I still look at him as the leader. But uh, more times than not, you know, Fred Van Fleet is, is, is the guy that's leading that team and scoring. That, that guy that, that's that, that, that heart and soul of that ball club a lot of times. So I, I think this is a job well done. Congratulations on FBR working his behind off to get it the back. I remember when he was coming out of college, there were a lot of people who said FBR was not going to work at the next level. Wasn't it out of Wichita State, correct? A lot of people thought Fred Van Fleet would maybe have a year or so in the league and he'll just be another one of those stories of guys who are really good college players but just wouldn't pan out in the NBA. Not athletic enough, not tall enough, all those things. But look at FBR. He's got in the back. He's a centerpiece of that Raptors group. And then we're talking about from a team standpoint, FBR and, and Kyle Lowry, they're so smart. I expect Toronto to be right back in the mix next year. Now, they got to go get a, a big fella down low, obviously losing Serge Ibaka most likely and probably going to lose Marc Gasol. They got to go get a big that, that's pretty darn good to, to round out that lineup. But if we're talking about locking up FBR, I think that's money well spent. He deserves that contract. He uh, is a guy that's going to only get better. He's only going to get better. And maybe one day, if you're the Raptors, you move off of Kyle Lowry. I don't expect it. I think Lowry should be a lifer for the remainder of his career in Toronto. But if you want to move off of Kyle Lowry, go in a different direction at some point in the future, you have a guard that can step right into that point guard position, and then maybe you can go out and find the next shooting guard of the future in Toronto.